I felt like it was the end. It was an unnatural fear. Well, Something and since when have any of us magic. considered a concept or idea of magic as rational to begin with? Rather than a sword, maybe that was a bad analogy, try a f fire. If it's improperly used, it can burn a house down. But fire is what we built our society on. It's what lets us stay safe in the night. It's a boon. Would and you live a life without if fire? If you incorrectly use, you can destroy us. like mad. So we can yes, agree but... on that, Mirandel. That if that was incorrectly opened, as you just said, that we have fucked up really fucking badly. Not completely. The other bit is that that the order was mentioned <laughs> in those tomes we found still exists. And they are the very ones who tamed the idea of magic. Tamed or suppressed it? Those structures. Because they were guarding that to not let anyone in there. Are they well, taming magic or are they trying to stop it? Who do not know and who even is this order? That I do not know. But they are Forgive me, we don't actively even know if being hunted. People. I cannot say that I have the answers to everything. I never have. But they are the only ones that have an answer as to fix whatever has been done down there. In either case, here are the papers you needed. <clears throat> I'll need to look through these. And, by the Whether way, not... we're overlooking a massive thing here, right? Let's say what you're saying is accurate. We came across elves down there. Of if, if what you said was correct, of, of the king's own household. They may be yes. the ones who are hunting this order. To silence them. Or to harm it for themselves? If they do not have the, the knowledge that this, they the need. It sounds like we should not be involved in this whatsoever. <laughs> All I can tell you is simply this The Guardian, the voice of the forest, and the land itself implored that finding this order would be a boon to preventing the hundreds of thousands that march upon our very lands that seek That's to good. burn everything you said all about this? I don't think you understand was yesterday or sorry this morning's outing I not am dangerous aware enough of for that you to realize fact. What the fuck? We are. We do not know what we're dealing with. It does not make. Do you why think? Are you still even considering this as a question? Do you think? I do not have guilt about what happened. Your guilt doesn't. Part of it from the is dead. my own failures. I am aware of that. Do you think so that why knowing are we not that from I would not bring this up? We saw what happened. <sighs> We are playing with things that we don't know anything about. That so then let us learn. Hands. Why are we pursuing something yeah, we don't let, even let understand? Me, let me indulge this, right? You said that the Order might be the good people, right? <clears throat> and they were the guardians, or, or they're the people who tamed magic, as you put it, and learned from whatever you said, learned from you, or whatever. Did we fucking kill them? As you said, it was us or them. Did we kill them? Yes. Perhaps Those the people. order you're looking for is now fucking dead. Who we knows? did kill, what, seven of them? That would not Five. identify why they were there, would not speak of their own sigil, which should give them power. They were of Halcyon Dells, man. 
Unless they are working directly for House Iandel, the order that is. House Iandel, you mean? Iandel, yes. Iandel. You have your own house. Have house. No. <sighs> In any case. That, that would be the king's own men. Yes. Which would mean they would be there on the order of someone who has the authority to send in the king's own men. And what kind and of people so I'm saying, really long? Yes, what I am saying is that the likelihood of seven royal guards being the only members of this order is highly unlikely. It, it, that would be a, a Incredible Maybe conspiracy. The officer or the noble was. Maybe there's they're more. embedded. How do you survive as there's an order? More. As easily as anyone else tries to survive in a world <laughs> like this. That said, the Badaya spoke to me while we were there too. And they. The first things I heard were that. Visitors oh, with ill intent were part of what? the visitors and the f Who's got that came the there. It did not speak of us, it spoke of others. I'm having trouble hearing you. And how do you know that? <clears throat> Who's got what's the you Because after what you've told me, of. and we've spoken about, how do we not know we that somebody that in that party is not this Let me Imperial? This. Because... Oh, it spoke... Yeah. Bridges of stone, which I now understand to be the archways that we had been seeking, and that the olden ones sought to seal them away. These olden ones, elves live for a I'll long period of time. I'll re repeat my question because I don't think it dawned on you yet. You said that this voice spoke to you about visitors in the forest with ill intent. Yes. Drow, any drow magic that Kyla has is not actual drow magic. He, Kyla has no magic. <clears throat> it's just out of character bullshittery. Because I'm not omnipotent. None of us are. Well, there are, you don't have to be. There are contact clues. Because the elves walked in and were not attacked. We did not. On. Um. You didn't hear what I just said. Listen. She was told by this voice that there were those who visited the forest with ill intent. She thinks it's the elves. What if it was people in our party? Or a person in our party? An Imperial. The elves got past those knights without conflict. We did not. I suspect those are two different things. Did it well, they say... Think it would be if it... Let's follow yes, your train. <clears throat> train? Whatever. What the fuck is you? What the fuck? Shoo <laughs> shoo! Back it. Rain it back in. <clears throat> back in. Out of anybody who was there... <laughs> I know I that you've had your suspicions. Of who could be the one that had been plaguing your mm. squadron constantly. Do you think anyone there <laughs> had intent? Ill intent. Ill intent. Ill intent. I Ill certainly intent. don't think it's any of you. To the forest? I, I, you already know what I thought, Mirandel. Do you want to think about it or not? Did you hear? Did you tell him? What was talked about in town today by Nicholas and Lucien? Hmm? What? I just told Mirandel now, actually, earlier. This is news. Apparently, a rider, a tall, blonde haired have... rider, rode out before we, uh, after we left. I had thought originally yeah, that that might have been Ewan. But it is not. So, as I have said to Kyla, that perhaps this person we're seeing is not who we're looking for, but merely a courier for that person that comes in at night. Mm. Same person that broke into the scribery, though. It's still possible that somebody in that party yesterday 
is an Imperial spy. Well, Cat, are you an expert swordsmanship and you're just not telling us? <clears throat> I feel like it would be quite difficult the people here, to you think I am? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I mean, frankly, I'm, I'm honored if you think that I was... Really? I know I dated a fucking Imperial, but I mean... It doesn't mean I'm... <laughs> I'm, it's a joke. It, it's a joke. Oh. You're not uh, not truly blaming you. So you are getting awfully defensive. You I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mm. <laughs> now is not the time for this. The spot with the right. she barely scrapes by. It's not her. So then, who? Let's go over who was in the party. The dwarves and the elves are obviously out. There's no reason Don't one would work for the empire. I suppose that's fair. Really don't know. Why would the Empire send a human? What if the spies... Because they hate anything that isn't a human. I suppose if you had someone's family or something else they cared about captured, uh, they'd do anything for it. You're mm -hmm. thinking. They keep but do we know slaves. that has... That is true? Then who was with us? It was me. You, Kyla, Cade, Vela, Kat, Serevith, the two dwarves. Justin, Selenar, and the dwarves. Justin, Selenar, I think that's it. Hmm. Bastard. Wouldn't be a Selenar, would it? I don't, I don't really know enough about, about him. Who's the other one? Justin? Well, that was after the Briggins. Justin, the uh, shoemaker. I mean, I don't know anything about him. He is I. inside the castle walls all the time. True. <clears> hmm. <throat> Never the slightest idea. I can keep tabs on him. Definitely knows how to make boots. It's not like a false All cover. I know is that those elves was there anyone from the king's house went past the guardians of this place that you would describe to me as eternal servants or whatever the fuck. If the elves were able to walk past them, because there's no sneaking, you saw the corridors, they had to have walked past them and yes. not been attacked. Those things attacked as soon as they saw us. Wait, didn't we trigger a pitfall trap remember. though? Wouldn't they have triggered it? We did. If they went through before us? They... Unless they knew it was there. How could they have gotten around us though? The thin corridor. No. Maybe if you fucking were part of building the place or you knew about it, maybe there were ways to avoid it. There was that secret That's exit. Point. That is true. Did you not have a... When you went to Gillimore... A similar incident where, in, when you entered that place, <clears throat> those same watchers attacked on sight. From what I heard, yes. when they got too he close, he told me that it was all about avoiding them. But they didn't was. attack on sight. They attacked when you got too close. That's what happened. Those it didn't seem to be the fucking case here. So are you telling me that if they, they came out of their way to stop if us? they attack those with ill intent, that Here's the what I've discerned about could them. have been present in both parties. They either attack Which, if you get too close to them, or they attack if you enter a right. place that I believe they are designated to be guarding. Uh, what did you say? Who was she in the first party? Was yes. there anybody who was, who was present party? for both Gilmore and Sarah Bedaria? And Kate. Sarah and Cade. I was. And Mirandor. And Sarah Vith and Cade. Mirandor. Anyone else? I don't remember. Tang. You were right. I don't know. Yes, it's fucking more dogs. I knew it. I feel like it's not Tang. There's no way Tang could break into the scribery without being noticed. Was Selena on that mission? No. He wasn't. Sure. No, I can't remember. That's why I'm asking. 
I don't exactly Wait, know yes he was. Because he had he? come back because his spear was broken, he told me. Oh, I'd that's fix right. Hmm. Said he had fallen down some sort of pitfall and broke his spear. I see. Keep your eyes on You don't think I'm that they attacked only because one of the one of our members was a spy? How how would they possibly know? Well, you also said that they would attack if we entered an area they were supposed to guard, which we did do. That's, like that's what I that's what I thought. Magical, and you want to know how it knows the that that the runes, correct? <sighs> yes. She did. And then activated Maybe all of them. Whatever happened there <clears throat> somehow came back to them in Bedaria. I don't know. This is this is no. also saying that it's the same person that has oh. ill intent. What does ill intent mean? Stop us from going to Bedaria. What does ill intent no, mean? Speculation seems to be what we build upon these days. Because it could we be. We are thinking about yeah, facts that could help us find a traitor. Not it could just be we want to. Someone in the party is like, oh, maybe I can harness this for myself and use it. Maybe it might not be, oh, I'm an imperial oh, spy. Well, who have we had that has gone to both of those that has said that to us in a meeting? You're assuming a lot about these things. What I think is that they have a proximity that they guard, <laughs> and if you step into it, they attack. You yourself have said. In that meeting, in that town hall, that it would be a boon to be able to raise people from the dead to fight the Empire. Those things might consider so that ill intent. Hypothetically. That Even... like ill so then they're reading my mind now. Is that really so strange after everything that we've fucking seen and done? Yes, it is strange. Mind reading uh, uh, undead servitors. That's, that's where you draw the line. That's where you start to think it's fucking weird. Andre! Hello! I've never not thought it was weird, Arn. I just... Do you really... Th Do you really think... I have an obsession with them or something. Well, obviously, just... somebody gave some sort of sign because a mystical, magical fucking voice told our dryad in her head that someone had visited the forest with ill intent. So yes, Mirandel, perhaps something read your fucking mind. I do not have ill intent. If we can you harness magic to help... Ill. I also... To harness it, and we're going to a place <clears throat> where you told me it was read in a book that they tamed it and they guard it, and you want to harness it. What does that sound like to people who may have built the place? Ill intent? But it's there's that but there's also the fact that after we had our meeting people left after us right the uh the the missive the person that had the missive or the spy or whatever wrote after us so whoever was at that meeting that knew what was going on so that's a point towards the there's a spy among us theory that we have <clears throat> hmm. I believe that from the beginning well, obviously but do you see my Aeon seems is very eager to uh, go on the mission and pushed for it, and then I never saw him show his face after that. Well, he wasn't Who's there, Aeon? so if they were speaking Aegon. of a visitor Aegon. to the forest... Yes, that's true. Aegon wasn't present. But then that's still saying that this mm -hmm. ill intent well, equals well, yeah. the traitor to Erland. It's... Which it might not. Even if ill intent doesn't equal the traitor, ill intent could equal to somebody wishing to access this place with intentions that do not match up with this fucking magical order that you're speaking about. And if they, there is a voice in your head, which is, I don't know, is that not some fucking form of magic? You're getting a voice in your Wait fucking a minute. head, or you're crazy, it's one or the other. The so if it's telling you to your head that there is somebody here... If it's telling you in your head that somebody came to that forest that had ill intent, it means um. that when we arrived, someone somehow gave off some sort of expletive that made whatever this guardian is um. think. What? Seravith. What about her? She constantly tells me that she wants to burn this whole place down and that she wants everything. She wants to have absolute control over whatever, however, whenever. How is that sounds more like ill intent than wanting to harness something to protect people? She's she fucking come harmless. Place? Don't underestimate her. 
I don't underestimate her. I know that she would stab me in the back if she felt like it was good for her. Mm -hmm. But she's a prideful that's... woman in shackles. She got herself in that position. She wants to what find something to take back to her matriarch. That would give her very different. Something very different about a woman that is spiteful to a world that has been spiteful to her and somebody who wants to tangle with something that they think they know how to use better than their predecessors or that's being used well, the, the, I'm not saying you're This is all very good basis ac accusations on. Could be the, They're not accusations. Basically, could be anything. the problem, yes, the problem that we're facing here is we don't know what ill intent means. We don't know the uh, p p p p parameters, parameters, parameters. Don't know what the parameters are for that, right? So until we figure that out, we can't pinpoint who had that, right? Because this band is marching to the forest without parameters to what we were doing. So I'm going to put these cards on the fucking table, so when something comes of it, I can say, "Well, I said so." And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, some pointers might be put together because something was put out in the open by someone here. Before something terrible happens. <sighs> Did you get anything from those inscriptions? <sighs> the only thing that mentioned towards the end is that... Whatever this dark city is, that they listen the dark city archmage. Dark city. Um, I do believe that the drow use well, outsiders, elves use the dark city as a term for the drow capital. Though, that's. Are you kidding me? I'm not really conf Well... I, it's Alcohol something you see a lot in the Third Era. You're supposed to be well-learned, Mirindel. What? Anyone from Gradia should know what the Dark City is. North of the Refresh Murderdrag? Uh, Morogorath? Right. Oh. <clears throat> right. Sorry, I've just been thinking about Drow a lot. Lately? Anyway? Yeah, I can hey. tell. One of those... One of those arcways... Exists there, if these... Recollections <sighs> from a member of the Order are to be believed. There is no reason that I would see that they aren't, seeing as so far... There's, there's also reference to the Archmage as well, of the what I'm assuming is this Order. Would that be, um... And if um, what's his name? You know what? <laughs> now that we're not freaking hmm. the fuck out. Now that we're not fighting for our lives while you read fucking books. Maybe we can read the books now. And see if there's anything yes. from the passages together that we can make of it. Very well. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Sitting down over here. Very good. Yeah. All right. You know what? Maybe over here, a cleaner surface. As long as there's enough light to read. Be quite careful with this. As long as you open it to the page it was on. Am I regular Kyla right now? <clears throat> or am I uh right. happy? I think I might have glitched it. Alright. It's open. Bring this torch a little bit closer. I only got 
I've seen a little bit of them in the dark. So I'm angry? I'm familiar with which, which ones were left right. where. Let me pull up my inscriptions as well. Are you waiting for me to do something? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh look, a DM. Um, there are no main characters. Maple. What's going Actually, on? you don't have it. it. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, stay here. I'm gonna send you something. Oh my god. Okay. Because my player is a piece of the shit. <laughs> Yo, I wasn't allowed to read any of those books. So. I got to remember what they said. My precious soul. <sighs> Out, bitch. Fuck off, you corporeal cunt. Good, bro. <clears throat> yeah, take a drink. I'm talking to the ghosts in my head. Oh god, it's schizophrenic, I swear to god. What if we listen to this idiot? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start reading this now. This passage here is, uh, as all our protocols must be followed, we use such things carefully, as is our prerogative. For such archways and gateways to exist, these magics must be maintained and constantly reaffirmed, and failing the ability guarded. It is the unyielding duty of the entire order to protect these secrets protect our most dedicated from ruin and we shall for eternity that first passage I have to think about it sounds like maintenance keeping something hmm. running maybe that's what they also there for working. maybe and we killed them protocols that we well, if it's running then why were they not open I mean, of them if you be... maintaining something doesn't mean using it. I can polish and sharpen a sword all day. I don't have to use it to know that it's ready. Food for thought. Second passage. <clears throat> Somewhat cut off, but, uh... Though it was to be expected, the Order never took such things lightly. Long nights of vigil and prayer overseeing our charge as the standard. Though I will say I never expected to spend so long here. I always thought once the Archmage had finished his preparation, we would step through. But we have been here for months. Months on end with nothing but endless vigil and patrols. How I crave to move on from this silent fortress. If I had to think about it, that ruin we were in must have been something far more alive than what it was when we got there. Hmm. Made it sound like a stronghold of sorts. <coughs> After I don't know what to do. Something like ancient. Those ruins were quite sprawling. Oh. And a lot of those buildings looked like structures that we'd seen far in. Although in much greater disarray. Well, I do say that they're waiting for the Archmage to finish some sort of preparation, and they seem surprised that they had not gone through as soon as it was done. Then do you think that means the Archmage failed <coughs> his preparations? And they just did not know? I don't know. Perhaps Maybe this maintenance perish. is... Maybe the maintenance is part of making sure it opens properly. Right. If we were perhaps the first to stumble upon it and try to activate it and it was not maintained, 
that might be something to do with it. I don't know. I see. Yes. <clears throat> order is being actively hunted. But there's very few of them left. But who would hunt them? The who Empire? would be alive long enough? The Empire isn't as old. Not as old, but definitely against anything that isn't human. And something that they understand. Part of those whispers mentioned the bridges of stone opening and closing ever closer from the east. What lies to the east? Or what did the lie Empire. East? Wait, wait, wait. Bridges opening and closing from the east. Is that what you said? Yes. Then how do we not know the Order is not in the east? How do we even know they're not part of the Empire? Mm. How do we know that? I don't know. Elves and the Empire don't really get along. Five, seven elves down in a cave. Wearing the king's colors. If, if I am correct, and this order is part of the Empire, and whatever you were told was that these bridges are opening and closing, maybe those elves were trying to seal it for good to stop an invasion. I see. And we killed them. But, Food for thought. if it was opened improperly, then <clears throat> perhaps that means it is now unusable. Meaning that but. the Empire would not be able to... It is, a, it is a font of mana that is much greater than has ever been seen since, and I quote, the beginning. The beginning of what was never specified. Well, if that's the case, why the fear, the feeling of dread? Because if you were to touch such a wild, untamed source of energy, it would likely tear you apart. Would that not give you a primal fear? Like a wild beast. A fire left unchecked can consume quite a bit. But a fire that is controlled can be used for so people much. People in this room understand how to the core and unnatural this fear was it was not normal i understand it was not like facing down a beast and knowing that you're about to die it is a fearsome thing but it's not this is wrong that's the only way i can describe I it like everything it was, was about wrong. to end you just don't yes. understand what it is yet the fear and of you the do. unknown no i don't and it's terrifying yes I do but... fear the unknown. The unknown is what the fucking empire is up to. That's unknown to me, and that is fearful. But it is not that. Thing that is like, even I if I understood it, is... I would not have a choice. All you did was that you walked forward with that cipher in your hand, and it suddenly exploded in the... Yes. Were yes. you trying to do anything with it at the time, or was it simply just proximity? It started to glow in my hand, and I held it up, and it shattered. Perhaps I'm trying to back. use something with ill intent? I wasn't trying to... <laughs> <laughs> what you define as evil. ill intent and what they define as ill intent might not be the same thing. I... I know, I know. Someone's coming. I don't... I think that that's... Torchlight. I think you're grasping at strong. Another fifteen years. All I'm saying is, if this omniscient voice in your head told you that people entered the forest with ill intent, and we entered the forest, and Mirandel's been in both groups, and those guardians have activated both times, and now that he actually got up to actually got to one of these old archways or whatever they are, and it reacted the way that it did, do you not see the correlation that this could make? He's I not do, but... evil. I don't think he's evil, but he speaks like a I... madman about using this magic. How using would he have it, known not... what was down there the first time in Gittermore. They activated before any of them even knew what was down there, let alone the man is fascinated with the arcane. 
and he has spoken about using it to destroy the Empire. He has said this. So if you have a group of people whose sole purpose, as we just read, is the safeguarding and protection of this magic, would it not make sense for them to have something in place to protect against those who are not a part of their order? Because of that ill intent. Do I really seem like the mad one in the room? No, you're making sense. I, this is all just very above me. It's above us all. I can't believe I'm talking about this. You're smarter. <coughs> you hear the scrap of the Apologies, just my mercenary. Your mercenary? You're hiring iron wolves now. <laughs> no, no, look here. Anyway, the third passage. Let's continue. <laughs> I've done it. Kyla knows Sarah I didn't think Sarah this would overlaps. still work, but by the old ones, it does. I'm still unsure as to where I will wind up. I've not been able to gauge such a thing, not yet anywhere. But at the very least, I will protect myself with my magics. And if I wind up in a place I don't belong, well, that won't help much, I suspect. Perhaps I can find the remainder of the Order, if they even still exist. However, I shall seal it behind me, so the pursuers may not follow. They have become too intent on control once more, and they know not what they seek, and have not learned from the past. The Dark then City the elves. awaits. Past you the say then the Elves. Help. You say that... But he quite literally says that he is sealing it because they do not know what they seek and are intent on control. Things that you have spoken exactly of. Exactly what we went to do. We went there we to went use it. And with I no see. idea what we were doing or what past things we should have learned from. Because we don't even know anything about it. I shall seal it behind me so the pursuers may not follow. They become too intent on control and once more, they know not what they seek and have not learned from the past. The dark city awaits. Say again? I didn't say anything I liked. Iando. Is there another passage? No, it's the only three. Do you think that voice in your head, the Guardian, was referring to ill intent towards the magic or ill intent in general? <coughs> it is hard to tell for certain. Most of the time when I hear voices, it is the voice of the Force surround me, and it usually speaks with... Own. I just realized something that wasn't clarified. That was the same voice that you hear here, Ian Doe. That was... That was not... Towards up. What I would like... The... I can tell you exactly what it was told to me. There is the same... The same voice as the one who is present here. Keeps a watch. Exact things that it told me, as well as when it specifically spoke to me, if it has any <clears throat> correlation. When we crossed the bridge going towards those ruins to find the first huntsman, that's when it spoke to me about the forest has visitors who are not friendly and the flame grows. But now that I think of it, it is possible that if it is the same voice as the one here, it may have been referring to someone that first time here, rather than those of us who went out. Later on... Someone... Sorry, I, did, I, I didn't quite understand. You, you said that 
It might be referring to someone who is here and not with us. In regards to what? It's... Well, the voice that I heard is the same one that I spoke to and gave me the insight as to what it was that we had accomplished, if unwittingly. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah, continue. When we got, when we reached those ruins, that was when I heard the mention of the opening and closing. The fires grew as the green hue fades. The bridges of stone open and close up the nearer from the east. And well, we if reached... You to listen. If you listen to that, it sounds like... Well, you found one archway that you said was in disrepair or broken down or something. We right. found another that was ill-maintained and is now operating incorrectly. Bridges open and close as the green hue face. From the east. Oh, gods. You don't think that's... The Empire... Remember that... Remember that tree that you mentioned was present at Gilmore? Yes. When you drew it for me, it resembled the same appearance as this guardian that I speak to. And as I spoke to it, it mentioned how our sisters are being myself in it. From the east, no longer, no longer speak to him. Do you think the Empire on their warpath they're obviously cutting it. down dryads. There's they could no also know of these. Uh... Right, there's that no equipment about that. Visited. What I understand, that. what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get through is that they, while they are cutting down dryads and other things that might threaten their power, they are opening and closing archways. Destroying, perhaps, teachers. perhaps destroying mm. ones that are disadvantaged, disadvantageous, opening ones that give them... Or, close to what you're saying, if we read the passage again, Ian Dell, <clears throat> with the green hue. As the fires grow, as the green hue fades, bridges of stone open and close ever nearer from the east. It's not a secret that when the Empire defeated the Elves in the East, they burned their forests to the ground. Empire always means fire. Yeah. And that Oleander fellow used to speak, uh, what he say? He said to someone in the tavern. What was the phrase he used? <sighs> he said directly to me that he had met others of my kind before, and that they were And he had also said no to somebody around. in the tavern about something of the purity of flame. So we already know that they burn people, burn things. They burn the elves out of their forests. So the first part of that I think is pretty safe to assume <clears throat> that the flame aspect is the Empire. What's the next line after that? The bridges of stone opening and closing ever nearer from the east. Bridges of stone opening and closing ever nearer from the east. The bridges Perhaps of stone. They are are the arcways. Repairing arcways that are working their way across his era. They would be right. able to invade anywhere that they wanted to. Exactly. It Supply wouldn't... lines. So the, the, the usefulness of that is insurmountably... They also the wouldn't have to go through lines. Ledford. Exactly. The archways would be the supply line. You said that the main advantage that Ireland has against the Empire is that uh, the, on the border is... What is the it? The border. Craggy... Cra uh, Crags, rocks, forests. The terrain. So if they could bypass that... They're going to bypass the border. What? They're going to bypass the fucking border. They're using the archways. My god, you're right. Ever nearer oh, bridges right. from east. It's a green we reached. Yo, I just got fucking shivers. 
we reach the archway. These ancient the olden lives to this land, to... which we are to believe that they were there to seal it. The elves that the we already know have been looking for uh, Galdrick. They have been, um, even that merchant who's in town uh, sent back information about um, Galdrick's, uh, the mean, castle with the elves forged. likely figured this out earlier than us, and we're trying to seal it off to keep the empire from getting in. And we just right, we might have fuck really that fucked that up. Well, it, it's, it opened incorrectly, right? They wouldn't be able to use it. That. Right, exactly. One's broken, the one in Gillimore. You said it was incorrectly opened, so it's they can't go. Th I mean, would they go? Would that be the same thing on the other side? Then is it going to be terrifying to them? I don't know. Or if they come through, is it going to be fucking yeah. like? I, I, I don't you fucking know. I I'm just no idea. kind of throwing stuff out. I mean, uh, feeling that we even with close my to it, I have a feeling it is not usable. We might have done a good thing. Right. They might have Prevent. to go there to fix that. Yes. So they would have to still get through the border. Right. Unless there's more... What if the elves... Archways. What if there is one on the leather? It would be sealed away, surely. Walgrith. All of you. On, remember what I told you in the, uh, the, the... When we were out earlier this morning. That I might have figured out what that insignia, that gem in inlaid thing that Falkworth had us get all those days ago is. Yes. I think it's a key. I think it's might be something instrumental in opening archways. Do you think he knows? Properly. Do you think he actually knows? Does he knows what he have? I don't know. <sighs> it's impossible to tell because without it seems that that cipher, that rune tab that you had, also was some part of the overall instrument required to activate those archways. Oh god. And as far as we know, he doesn't have one of those. But I do. Maybe that tablet had to be used with something. Maybe it was like a conduit or something of the sort. Maybe you needed that thing, whatever it is. You all mentioned crystals. Wait, so if we're to think... Voices, how do they look? If, if the crystals are blue, just like the gem that was inlaid in the... In the fit in... <laughs> you found one in Gillimore. Gillimore from Lightford is north and to the right. It's closer to Lionhall. And we found one in Bedaria, which is to the west. If things are in the increments that we believe, then it would make sense for one to be around near Ledford. Each one seems to co cover 50 to 100 miles. Oh god, Spogrith knows. Here's why. All right. The mines. They are fresh. They are, they are fairly new mines. Falgrith only became the advisor recently here. And when I had a meeting with him, discussing these crypts that we found, he hardly seemed surprised at all. He had us sent down to take a look at it. Or... Whatever reason he would entrust a bunch of peasants to do it, I do not know, but he did anyway. And as a result, we brought him what he wanted, which was that thing Fuck, the bandit along. ruins is a good one, but Kyla hasn't and thought then, of that. He had me return and map out the entire thing. But we never saw the entire thing. We never went past all of the fluorescence vegetation we set it on fire there were cracks yes. that went deeper left a long way i out. think I thinking people should go back down again but if that was the case yeah. he sent you a second time wouldn't you have gone deeper with the royal guard perhaps the entrance is covered up buried think about it the ruins that we've been to especially in gillimore the, there were statues that must have been at least 10 15 feet tall buried up to their necks 
Oh my god. The miners said they heard sounds down there. Sounds of metal and clanging. They might be excavating it Wait. right now. Days ago. <sighs> there was more to those whispers, but... What if it wasn't a shield? No. What? Say what yes. you think. I've always wondered why there were two castles here. You have Ledford and you have Stowerling Keep. Never really the made bandits. any sense to me. Oh my god, in, in all of the Empire business I completely forgot. The bandits mentioned a cave system beneath their- Oh fuck body. me. <laughs> what? What? <sighs> what? 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 Fill me in. They said that they hear scratching sometimes from the other side. It's completely caved in, but they hear scratching like something's trying to escape to get out. I thought it was them being dramatic or trying to scare me, but... Holy shit, chat, you know that. It could just be more of those mushroom things that are trapped below. Let them stay trapped. Could. It could. <clears throat> we can't. But if, they if are there the is an archway things, down here... They are connected to that cave system. Bogus didn't seem surprised. There's another key detail. Would that... he ever let you see him surprised? No, but he did slip up one time. I didn't. I was very careful and terse with my words regarding the incident in the caves. I did not mention the voice that spoke to all of us. I did not mention that these mushroom creatures were controlled by some force that linked them all together. And yet, for some reason, he said. So that it's very curious that something like that still lives down there. He didn't say things like that. He said something like that. He knows what's down there. He has to. Hey, Solace. Hello. Begs the question. Welcome. Why has he kept me alive all this time? Because he knows you're crazy enough to go after those things and answer the questions that he had. God, you're right. How to use them. Learning from <sighs> our things. He hired the mercenaries to torture on because he could not do it himself for political reasons if he was an Imperial spy. He's obviously not in a position to be going around delving for secrets. He wants me to do his work for him. Like he's been grooming me. And there's another thing. When I mentioned, <sighs> I told him that it was difficult for me to operate with Sir Rinwald by my side all of the time, that I had puzzle pieces I had to collect. Without any need for recollection or, or clarification, he immediately dismissed him. Just like that. Without any sort of hesitation. No hesitation whatsoever. I thought it curious right. that you were suddenly freed up to talk. If you're right, that would mean that he knows about all of this. But then, why would he not seal them? He wants to use them? Or he's yes. working for the Empire? He wants to use them. Oh yeah, he wants to use them. Exactly. Whoever he's working for, we don't know. Apparently he's been loyal to... I mean... Erland for however fucking long uh, the Lord Commander said that he has a history of being mm, snaky but loyal. Or it's all been a guise, a long play by the Empire while they were trying to figure out how to open these portals. If someone to open the door from the other side. To risk open war with the disadvantage disadvantageous enemy, I would try to embed operatives with him. Especially ones close to people of power that they can then make sympathetic to their cause. The bandits will let us in if we want to go, I'm sure of it. The ones that remain, 30 or so men, 
I've pledged to stay here and fight the Empire. Mirandel, I... I don't want to be that guy again, but I really don't fucking think that we're in a position to go fucking spelunking in a cave right now. That might be full of more of those mushroom things. Not right now, no, not tonight, obviously. We need time Especially to prepare. Tonight. Not tonight, not we fucking only... ever. What do you mean, not fucking ever? What are we going to leave it to Falrith, whose intentions we do not know? Or leave it yeah, to the Empire and the Royal and Guard? Inquisitors? Besides, we still Why? don't know how to properly use anything. The only thing we could do is try to destroy it, and possibly destroying it could cause whatever happened no, yes. in the Badaria. We would need to get our hands here. on. We'd have to get our hands on that you... amulet. The only ones who know how to use them properly are the Order. Unless there's books or clues there that could fill in the gaps that Mirandel needs. The likeliness is very low. Yeah. I doubt they would just leave that knowledge for someone to oh, stumble what across. What we do know, out, outside of this speculation, what we do know is that what you were told lines up with the idea of the Empire repairing and putting archways online into Arrowland, or at least from the east to the west. Yeah, we can agree on that. That's what that <laughs> sounded like, but you what yes. you heard in your head. Yes. Read it to us one uh, more time. So I don't think I'm crazy. Right. The bits that we had heard. Or that I had heard. Is that the fires grow, as the green hue fades. The bridges of stone open and close ever nearer from the east. But there was more after that, as we got closer to the archways <laughs> itself. That it was the olden lives tore down as bridges of stone. So somebody sealed it. Who? Tore olden it down? lives tore down bridges olden of stone. Olden lives. Olden, olden lives. lives. What is that? Name? Elves, dryads. Whatever came Maybe before. They are the only ones that can live beyond millennia. Olden lives oh, tore yeah. down bridges of stone. Which would make sense why the king's men were there, because the king is... <sighs> it's been around for ages. Oh God, in there the is rumors, I don't know how accurate it is, but most say he's from the first or second age. Around I believe it. Uh, the sound of a plate on wood. There's footsteps coming up the stairs. <laughs> My sword. Uh, he is retired for the night. He's going over some, uh... Very good. Indeed. Lucian, have you finished my army at the breastplate? Are you done? I about to mention, yes, I am finished. I apologize for the state of, uh, disrepair that it's the morning. Very well. Quite a mess. Mirandel, you did get the records about the, um... What was it? The Bartol? Of course. Your arrival. Yes, Absolutely. Good. I believe her name was Vifla. You did get Indeed. those records. I sent a copy over to property. Hmm. Well then. Would you like to review them? Surely. I wouldn't mind that at all, Mirinda. Yes. <laughs> your hands are shaking. Are they? You have to forgive me, I've been... Oh, I've lost a friend. Hmm. I see. Who was it? Eowyn. Hmm, Eowyn. An elf. Oh. Yes. My condolences, Mirinda. Thank you. Very well. Character. Poem still on the table. No. Okay, good. Mirinda moved in. 
And you all here during this night? I don't recall you residing in these places. Didn't no, you know they the do not. Smithy, blacksmith? I was at the smithy, Captain. Came we up to get some more ink and parchment, so discussed a night. few things. Say again, hmm. sorry, my head hurts. Your business so late at night. We had was a getting a funeral for Awen earlier, Captin. We're working out a... No. no, not in this scribery. We're just working out some details about it. Perhaps holding a memorial tomorrow. We were all close friends of Awen. And, cons and consoling, especially now. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Uh, watch your hair. I'm aware. Hmm. I have a few questions for you, Mirandel. If you have some of time, course. before we all finish with this business here. Wish to you can... ask you a few questions about. Well, that can be discussed in private. Right. Right. You go out and at the entrance. Please escort him into the royal table, the round table, second floor down. You two, I'm looking at you two. Very well. It's a quiet night. No, there's creatures about. Do you seem uneasy, blacksmith? Your hands twitching, like you're attempting they to usually do. a blade or a sword. <laughs> Don't like to find myself surrounded, Captain. That's all. I see. Been in this situation before? I have been robbed as a blacksmith before. Not that I expect royal guards to rob a blacksmith. Do we look like thieves? <laughs> no. That's why I said what I said, Captain. Right you are, then. Forgive me. Right. Act three. Carry on. Let's move. I trust your business will be finished and you'll leave the castle grounds back to your respective places. Aye. Well, <clears throat> I think we've discussed the funeral. Timing. It's very convenient timing. Leave the inner keep. Go now. Get it's out there. Somewhere other than the castle. In the smithy. We have all we need to. Take the box with you. Not a good idea. If I get seen with them. The real god are looking for something. <laughs> we have to just hope. <clears throat> Don't leave as a fucking procession. Go. Spread the fuck out. Go. Go. We'll meet at the fort. Go. Oh, sorry. It's okay. the door. Lovely night, isn't it? Stars are out. No clouds. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Let's talk about Ewan's funeral. It's most of it's going over my head. I don't understand Elven culture. You get what I mean? Yeah, I understand completely. I uh, 
promised a human who hasn't lived long. I <laughs> don't know much about anything, really. Stupid human. <laughs> Stupid drow. Afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, Night, afternoon, whatever for me. <laughs> Technically, it's morning for me. I only woke up later in the evening. Uh, Sleeping in, being lazy. All right. Uh, lazy. I, I mean, I own my keep for the day. Uh, I mean, I understand why you're up and about, because you're probably keeping watch. What are you doing on the site? I Especially don't know. She was keeping watch more than me. Hey. What? Welcome to Fort the Sierra. Was that Blaze? Was that? I... He was standing like Blaze. Weird. Are you still on about that? She's still being... Weirdo the the illusion. Look at look how wonderful it is. Uh, is that Blaze? Try not to get yourself arrested by the sergeant. I'm not gonna get arrested. Jeez. He said it's fine. It's for the steel. <laughs> the sergeant is an ingredient, as well as the majority of the guard. But how you manage that? You're not gonna say hi? He's suddenly oh. Someone might is it trying to find out uh, why he's been suddenly gone for a while, but that Arn is getting a group of people together to go do some kind of secret mission thing, whatever excursion. Uh, you got another and one. So now right? everybody around Arn wants to suddenly I pop on on the Don't screen. think that's true. Let's go out true. into the night once more like we did yesterday and have no sleep. I don't think that's true at all. Arn just came back from the Badari Let's Forest. He has nowhere else he another. needs to go. Fucking ten people's records. Yeah, I was gonna say, man's man's really fucking looking to go and get the fuck out of here. If he's got, if he's trying to fucking leave this much. He loves this town. He built most yeah, of the houses here. Yeah. Chainmail up here too. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. Gonna be working all night. I'm going to go. You better not lock rest. me out when I need to get back in. If I wake up and I find all of you coming back all injured again. Oh, there you are. Hmm? Sorry. It's okay. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. They're just uh, stretching. Oh yeah. Stretching your eyelids closed. How about? Oh my. Eyelids are very open. Much better. I think. Thank you. Anyways. <laughs> So that was fucking freaky. Mm, yep. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I have no idea if we're even going. I don't know. To the point. Awen's funeral. Tomorrow. I have no. Yes. I'm fr I, gotta... <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to wait for. Uh, what the uh, fuck is happening? You fell on. For all arms call, I suppose. I On shit. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah. So Blaze walking around it was weird. He, he hasn't been around for a while. It's 
spoopy. You sure it was Blaze? Hmm. I was gonna ask you if you need an assistant, I can help. I'm always looking for a job. Couldn't you have been sold? Anyone can know anything. Do you want enough uh, patience? Oh, I mean, carrying so, shit around. I mean, I don't think she could so do that much herself, carrying. Red needle. So. Oh, so. so. Uh, yeah. Wanting to learn? <laughs> Anyone can with enough time and patience. Same. It's getting late. It's not that hard, right? Drag. You just, you know, grab the little needle, you, you poke it That's through, nice. and you know, yeah. kind of go back around. It's been a long day, like and that. we hardly got to sleep. Soon. <laughs> Exhausted. I mean, I I'm fucking cold. And it's Torch freezing. Like Hello, Baker. Um, Hello. Hello. Come on now. You're not laying on the fucking snow. Where, where did he say? Save. At the fort. Give him up. Uh, she's had a bowl, so I think huh. it's keeping her. Right. Not oh, thinking of her own. Heat, cold. <sighs> Come on, let's do it. We're not gonna keep you in the snow. But if I go back, I have to go do that. I no, you do don't. You can fucking sleep for the night at least. Just wake up early in the morning. I don't know what to do. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> it feels like it's been a really, really. Send you to the gallows of a fucking. Uh, chaotic a past couple of days. Like, normally I feel like the past couple of days are, you know, not that. There's like a lot's been crazy. going on. It feels like. Yeah, so I feel like the past couple days I've been able to, like, banners. get a solid like a sleep project. in between, you know, each day. Mm -hmm. I can't even do Definitely. Objects. You know, how it felt like past couple days. Maybe it's just happen, eh? How's that sound? everything going on. <sighs> come on. <clears throat> what did even Ian Delco? <clears throat> Seeing Blaze, I guess. See. You know they like. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, but she's going off to go fuck Blaze. Well, I don't. I didn't say that. No, I don't blame her. I don't know if you <laughs> can. I don't blame her. All right. Alright. Um. Okay, let's just go up. Alright. At least we can really be inside some form of walls. Mm hmm. Wait, which laugh? <laughs> Why look so crazy? Uh, fuck is my There we go. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Same. Hmm. Which tower is your favorite? But well, they keep changing it up. This one's the tallest, so seems pretty top here. Oh no. <laughs> How did you get there? <laughs> Okay, look, just, just, oh, God. Okay, okay, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Careful with the torch. All right. How Maybe the fuck I did you manage that? Torch. I don't know. I'm gonna try again. I'm just special. Thank you. Should really be a <laughs> like a 
like a, a an easy way to climb, like a toggle or something. Yeah. I don't like the way this torch looks on this. I'm gonna turn it the fuck off. God damn. Surely you can see me in the moonlight. Of course. Dance in the moonlight. It's really quiet. It's been a while since we've had such a calm night. It's it's nice. Incredibly refreshing. Yes. It also sets my fight or flight going. <laughs> right. Because I'm worried oh now. God, wait. Are they waiting for him to go to sleep and then they're gonna j jump out and be all like, Bleh! Yeah, that or it just feels like they're kind of preparing for something. Oh, don't say that. Attack. Oh god, wait. <laughs> One of those we archways opens up and Seven Savash just come pouring through. Uh, or worse, honestly. Seven Savash. You didn't see the weird Seven Savash we saw last night. <sighs> the one on uh, all fours? It was like. Yeah, it was fast. Like, really, really fast. I saw it out in and the woods that just for a moment. It was worse than all the others. It was more savage, I know. Oh. <sighs> I love those servants of Ash getting uh, worse. That's fun. Yeah. It's lovely. Fuck is on. Know. That's what I'm thinking. If he's. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, I, I think I know just... what you're gonna say though. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> I think you do. <laughs> mm. This is a nice little perch. It is. I kind of like this. I can see everything. Well, mm -hmm. Kind of. You can. So I said you. Huh? But. Because I'm fucking blind. Can't see anything, but you can see everything. That is true. That's why I said you can see everything, but... I can see English everything. English makes it so, you know, when you say... Don't say that. You can't see anything. Huh? Oh, I can see everything. You can't see anything. I can see something. That, yeah, that's true. Fucking blind. I don't... Fuck you, no! What? Hang on, how did you see... Oh, the light, the moon. <laughs> I forgot you yeah. can see me. Just not everything I mean, technically, there. I... I, I have my um, eyesight turned down a little uh, uh, I can see a little bit better than normal because I'm... Well, there's no clouds. Lazy. We did establish that. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. There's no clouds. And it, there's snow, which makes everything lighter. Very much lighter. Do you think if I spit off this, oh, how, long it will how long do you think it will take to get to the bottom? Do you think my spit will freeze? But what the fuck are you doing? Oh no. Are you practicing yoga? <laughs> I'm so glad Awen taught you well. Why did this happen though? Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. Is that Ian Dell? Go, go, go and get her. I need to... <laughs> Back in a second. God damn it, turn around. Why is it not... It's not accessing my menu. Is you dead? Oh, fuck me. Okay, let's, uh... Why does this fucking happen? Oh, this shits me to no end. Ugh. 
It's like f dead in the fucking water. Am I gonna have to like full on restart VR? Let me try something. <laughs> it always scuffs at the like stupidest fucking shit. See, it's- it's tracking it, but it's not pressing the- It's not pressing the fucking buttons. Okay, I'm gonna restart VR completely. Ah, oh, fuck. That's so fucking annoying. Alright, hang tight, guys. One, two, three, four, five. I want to fucking die. Better do 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 do. Hey, it works. Okay. You guys can hear me, right? Everything all golden on the streamer's end. Fuck. <laughs> We're all good. We're all good. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah, that looks fine. Ugh! Oh, why is it so close to me? Yes, I know. It's not the right button. Fuck. Did Brian just like forget to meet us at the the place? Like. <laughs> Yeah, I'll set the camera up. Chiku, 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 